whether in the jungle, at the reception of the diplomatic corps in the capital, or with excited teenagers at a workshop. The employees of the Friedrich Naumann Foundation for Freedom are on a global mission for democracy, human and civic rights, as well as free market economy. They stand for rule of law, good governments, and peaceful conflict management. Thereby, the women and men of the Foundation for Freedom work oftentimes under difficult and sometimes even dangerous conditions. In Asia, the Foundation is represented by two regional and ten country offices. Depending on the situation and strategy, different core areas are defined for each of them. Four decades uh, of this time we have been active in South Asia with programs supporting liberal democracy, civil liberties, human rights, uh, international cooperation and uh, also intra-regional cooperation and all our projects are conducted in close cooperation with our local partners. We are very fond of our partnerships which have been established over the years. Our foundation works with civil society organizations, with uh, business institutes, with entrepreneurs and also with government institutes. As a liberal foundation, FNF follows the principle of subsidiarity. That means decisions are taken on the lowest level possible. Accordingly, our country directors decide themselves on most issues. Consequently, they can initiate plans and programs in a quick, cost-effective and to the local conditions most suitable way. The regional directors supervise and accompany them and furthermore steer their respective regional projects. Our work in this region encompasses a really broad spectrum of activities. At the regional level, we work with a network of democratic and liberal political parties on strengthening capacity building of political elites, of professionalizing and democratizing the work of political parties. We work with a network of human rights organizations and activists to strengthen the human rights mechanism in the nation combined ASEAN. And we work with think tanks and academicians on the topic of economic freedom in Asia to explore ways to enhance economic freedom to strengthen the dynamic market economies of the area. A small team in our head office in Potsdam, adjacent to Germany's capital Berlin, at the lovely lake named Griebnitzsee, supports their engagement. Due to the large decision-making power on project level, the Asia and Human Rights Department looks rather minimalistic, or in other term, is practicing lean management. Here, project applications are worked upon, administrative questions solved and reports written. Additionally, the often thrilling reports on actual developments in Asia, the background analysis and the semi-annual magazine Global und Liberal, as well as the focus human rights are polished before they are mailed for free to subscribers. On top of that, the Asia and Human Rights Department serves also as an ambassador for the outstanding activities in Asia and in the field of human rights. The now men and now women engage especially for human and civic rights. Thus, the protagonists of liberalism are active and contributing members of the German Institute for Human Rights and the Forum Human Rights in Germany. With corresponding events, they highlight also in Germany and Europe worrisome developments in certain countries, structural problems of a region or cases of human rights violations. The Asia and Human Rights Department cooperates with other organizations and individuals in order to mitigate, to hamper or to solve them. According to the respective target audience, the department facilitates a transfer of knowledge from abroad to Germany and vice versa. Consequently, also, we in Germany can benefit from good approaches, solutions and impulses. Eventually, Asia is characterized by dynamics and innovations, qualities which connect us and thereby bridge whatever separates us. And very important is also international project work, because uh, we believe that many of the projects and problems confronting mankind today cannot be solved locally, so it makes sense to discuss these on an international context. All in all, the Asia and Human Rights Department serves as interface between the worlds, contributes to civic education and raises awareness. Simultaneously, it keeps an eye on global human rights developments. It coordinates planning and activities to create utmost synergies. A 
small team consists of extremely engaged members who are desperate to contribute to an even more effective program work in our project countries. Besides the South Asia and political scientist Ruben Dikhoff, responsible for South Asia and human rights, sits Wolfgang Heinze, a studied political scientist dealing with Southeast and East Asia. They are backed up by Maite Nüspeling, a Japanologist, while Olaf Kellerhoff, an Islamic and political scientist, leads the team and represents it in public. Jointly, they work every day hard to cover the colleagues back in the region and to ensure that they have any support required. They are aware of their responsibility. Each small action can be a butterfly's wing beat, creating more freedom and more rights for the people in Asia.